guys and welcome back again to my channel. So today I'm going to be filming for you my self care routine for when I feel like I need a bit of a pick me up or I'm trying to relax and take care of myself mentally and physically and I feel like this will be something that a lot of people would benefit from doing. So if you guys are able to go ahead and get yourself a nice cup of something warm to drink. And maybe you could do some of the tips that I'm going to be giving you guys to help you to relax and wind down in the evening. Good morning everyone, so happy Sunday. Um, so the first part of my self-care Sunday routine would be to complete a 30 minute yoga. And not necessarily a workout because I do a lot of working out during the week, but on a Sunday is my rest days and I usually like to complete some yoga to help me to stretch and to keep calm and to get my body prepared for next week. So I think I'm gonna do this one which is the energizing morning sequence. I think that would be a really lovely yoga to do. So the next part of my routine is to put on a face mask and the face mask I have been using right now is the Hello Body um, face mask. It is the Coco Wow French Pink plain mattifying face mask and this is really good for clearing up your skin, detoxifying your skin and detoxifying your pores. Um, I have actually got a discount code for Hello Body products if you guys want to purchase anything I'll link the website in the description box below and I'll also put the discount code just across the screen here for you guys to go ahead and check it out but this smells so good. It smells like a pink smoothie I can't even explain. So sweet. And I've also ran myself a nice hot bubble bath and for my self-care Sundays I like to use the um, stress release bubble bath from Redox. This smells really lovely and it's got eucalyptus and rosemary and it's very calming and I like to put on a hair mask as well and the hair mask that I have been loving is the Ultimate Blends Soothing Hair Food in the scent of coconut and macadamia and then I'm also using the hair food which is the banana and coconut scented shampoo. Guys, so I've just had my bath and the next step to my self-care routine which I like to do every single Sunday is do some poor blackhead extractions. Now I'm using the Tarata blackhead remover and I will link it in the description box below. It was from Amazon, it wasn't very expensive. I think it was like 20 pounds and it comes with different heads um, for different things. So I'm gonna use, I think, the blackhead extractor, which is this one. And then I'm also gonna use the exfoliating one on the rest of my face. So I think I'm gonna start off with the exfoliating one. Um, and it's chargeable as well, so it comes with a little charger, which is really cool. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to put this on. And I'm just going to basically go all around my face. And it has the exfoliating head. And obviously, like, after I've had a bath, my skin is going to be feeling like all the pores will be open. And it will just be ready for a little bit of an exfoliate. Um, it is really cool. It, the actual head is, like kind of quite rough if that makes sense like it's like a silver kind of rough head so you can just extract all the pores um and you can also exfoliate your skin at the same time just pick up all those dead skin cells literally has a mic there you go. What I would say is when you use this, the actual blackhead extractor, like the exfoliating one's fine for your whole face, but this one, um, don't hold it on for too long because once I did that and it actually bruised my face and it lasted for like a week of like bruises. Luckily, we were still in um, lockdown, so it didn't really matter because I wasn't going anywhere, but I would say just be aware of that. Okay guys, so the next part of my routine, and I've just put on a summery dress because it is really warm today. Um, is to do my eyebrows and to also use my little face shaver as well which I just kind of go up like this um, it just kind of gets rid of all the fluff as well and I like to do this like every Sunday because sometimes but I will kind of use it like during the midweek if I feel like I need to and the same like with my eyebrows as well like if I feel like there's a hair which I'm like oh I don't like the way how that is looking um, and I will kind of pluck it out but um, for now what I do 
is like every Sunday I will do my eyebrows like properly for the week so I don't have to worry about it too much and if I do like forget to kind of do little pick me ups then it will be fine and also do this as well kind of got into a bit of a habit doing this so yeah just picks up all the like fluff which you don't really want um, and then I go ahead and I do my eyebrows as well um, and I just kind of shape them as much as I can well just to kind of like go around as well just like you know freshen them up a little bit but it just means that my eyebrows are kind of kept under control because if at least if I do it once a week then like they will be controlled throughout the week and I just don't have to worry about it. My routine will be two paint nails and I'm going to be painting my toenails actually in this really beautiful cover which is the Nails Ink Blossom Kisses and I actually got sent this in one of the glossy boxes it's so pretty. So the last part of my self-care routine is to get super comfy and I have been loving to use this deep sleep pillow spray. It's really been helping me to sleep a lot through this whole unprecedented time of lockdown. Um, it's really calming and I am obsessed with this. And I've just put on my fairy lights and then I've got a candle burning in the corner over here as well. So if you guys have enjoyed this super calming and chilled out vibe video obviously this is my self-care sunday routine and if you guys want to see more self-care routines give this video a huge thumbs up like and subscribe and i'll see you guys in my next video